Google Stadia closing down is not surprising. I have been using Google products for a long time. In fact, I have an Android. 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 Over the years, I have seen services come and go from Google. I had Google Play Music, and then it shut down, and now there's YouTube Music. Google Play Music was actually around for almost 10 years, so it isn't something that Google just abandoned right away. But I really liked the service. It included YouTube Premium as well, which was called YouTube Red at the time. YouTube Red was another example of Google rebranding its services, as it is now YouTube Premium. Looking back, there's quite a few things I remember throughout the years, and I even found a website that archived all the Google services that were shut down by Google. I still have my old Nexus tablet from 2012, and I also have a Nexus 4 phone, but the Nexus phones were discontinued years ago, but they basically live on in the form of Google Pixel phones. Google Stadia was shorter lived than most services I remember from Google. But there lies the issue. Stadia could have panned differently for Google. The base Stadia plan was free, so that was an advantage. But you still had to buy every game individually. The premium version, Google Stadia Pro, was $9.99 a month and it gave you extra perks, a free game a month and 4K support. On paper, it doesn't sound that bad. It's basically Steam on the PC, but on any device, except you stream the games instead. It's cool that the games are yours to keep, but it's streaming only, so there's no offline play. The other services from Microsoft and Sony are like a video streaming service. You pay a monthly fee, and you have access to a big library of games. The Xbox Game Pass has big AAA games, and even day one releases. Once you compare the Stadia and the Xbox Game Pass library, Stadia is looking a bit lackluster. But some people might prefer owning the games individually, especially if you are using the free account, but doesn't want to be tied to a monthly subscription. Like if someone liked Far Cry 6 and wanted to play it anywhere, and they don't have to be tied down to a monthly subscription. I tried out the free version of Google Stadia. You can try out games for 30 minutes, 60 minutes, 2 hours, and they have a good library to choose from regarding those free trial games. They have Far Cry 6, Farming Simulator, Dragon Quest, Darksiders 2 and 3. I tried out a bit of Farming Simulator, and it kind of lagged on my PC even though I'm using the ethernet cable connected, and I do get about 500 megabits per second. Now I think that was because it was my first time ever trying a game on Stadia, because eventually it didn't really lag anymore. I even tried a game on my mobile device connected to my Wi-Fi, and it worked just fine. I do like that they offer these free trials because it makes getting into the service really easy. I already had an existing Google account, basically the email I use for this YouTube channel. So I was able to try out games really quick and I was in and out within about 5 minutes. And honestly, if there was a game I really liked, I would go for the pro version of the service to try out that 4K support. I do like owning the game individually because that means you can have the free version of Google Stadia and not pay anything monthly and just have that one game in your library that you always want to play. But it's a shame now because Google Stadia is shutting down in January. Like I mentioned before, Google's record on services isn't that great. And I found more that I remember. Google Hangouts, it was a texting app. In fact, I found a whole website called killedbygoogle.com and it shows services that are going to be discontinued in the future and services that have been discontinued. And another service that's being shut down recently is YouTube Originals in December. Google Hangouts that I just mentioned in about a month, Google Surveys as well in November, which is something that I actually use and it's over 10 years old. There's a long list of services that have been canceled over the years. Now I know any company cancels a lot of services, not just Google, Apple, Microsoft, they all eventually shut down services that they deem not to be profitable anymore. But it's a shame that Stadia didn't last as long because that means less competition for the other streaming services. Although it wasn't that great, considering, compared to the other services, it was lackluster in the gaming library. And since you did have to buy every game individually, it would be more expensive in the long run, versus Microsoft's Netflix style of streaming services. But, knowing Google, I didn't think it was going to last long, even when they first announced it. I mean, they have that whole website dedicated that I didn't even know existed until I started making this video. But I did know a lot of those services because I have been using them throughout the years. But I mean, what are they going to do? They're not going to cancel you- <laughs>